up outlaws what's up it's your boy madman909 here here to submit my vlog for the top 25 outlaws most valued content creator put it in <laughs> so after i had graduated high school i went to straight into college just like most other people but i went for graphic design and honestly i feel like i never really found my passion all throughout high school Aww. And I never found a field that I really shined in. But after two years in college, I find my real passion, which was competing in gaming. I grew up on GameCube, then transferred over to Wii, then from Wii went over to Xbox 360, then Xbox 360, that was gas. Halo, Modern Warfare, Black Ops. At the time, I didn't think PC was better than console. I was like a controller bot. I did not want to switch to mouse and keyboard. I'm really glad I made the change. And I was on a, I was on a laptop. I switched over from an Xbox 360 to an Alienware, like 2014. I played competitively on that, played in the contender scene on that. And honestly, it was impressive. I was playing with 60 FPS on a tiny little laptop, crunched over with my little, my, my little mouse on top of the laptop. Speaking of laptops, did you know that Samsung just released a 15 inch Chromebook? Wow. Samsung! Samsung! Get yours anywhere! Get yours online now! Don't forget to use my promo code, Matman909 underscore OW, use Snoutlaws underscore OW909, Matman909 underscore OW underscore Overwatch underscore 909. Out, hashtag at Houston Outlaws. Uh, yeah! My first competitive FPS was a game called CSGO. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this game. And I was just, I was entranced. That's not a word, right? I was entranced with the skins, with the way the game played, with honestly, at that time, CSGO was kind of a fast paced game compared to other games like League. And so when Overwatch released, I played the game with a couple buddies from CSGO. We memed around, I played, I main Junkrat season one. Um, so, you know, I wasn't taking the game so seriously. It went from being a casual game to being a really competitive game to me. And I think it was when I hit Masters in like season three, I went from playing random heroes like Junk, Widow to uh, playing like a bunch of Reinhardt. That really transformed my image of the game, I think. To this day, I just love Reinhardt and the hero design and the way the, the hero feels. So after season three, I started taking the game a lot more seriously. I started scrimming a bunch. I think it was eight hours every day, some crazy amount of hours. I was trying to get on better teams every single time. And from there, the passion of competing blew up and Overwatch, took over my life from then from then on. A lot of the other jobs that I had, like catering and working in security, started fading away and I just really wanted to be more into Overwatch. The game just consumed me. But while I was playing, competing and scrimming every single day, uh, one of my buddies named Cafe, one of the top tier off-tank players at the time, obviously spiked my interest because I was a Reinhardt player. He's the reason why I started streaming. I would never stop playing the game. Obviously, with watching Twitch and playing Overwatch, you find the occasional Overwatch streamers. I would run into J3, Emong, Parblue, and eventually, with just getting in their games and having some fun little banter here and there, we would grow to become friends. I would start doing with amazing content creators. Me and J3 would do every single day, and eventually I would start to just stream. With the tremendous support from my amazing community, I wake up with a smile on my face, ready to stream and provide content to the amazing mods, lurkers, or chatters who just come in from other streams. Hopefully one day, I will be your Houston Outlaw.